hello friends in this video I am going to share few tricks in MS Excel which will not take much time overall I am going to mention 10 important tricks uh, which I consider if you know it's going to make things easy for you in Excel so the first trick is the alt key now many of us think that alt C or alt T or whatever is their short keys with the alt those are short keys but those are not actually a short key because if you are using a short key like copy control C so you need to press control and C at the same time however when you are working with alt command you will not have to press alt and other commands at the same time first you need to press alt and then you can go through the windows navigation suggestions so we don't realize that quite often the reason is being we press alt at let's say at that same time and the things happen so we don't see that coming uh, for example I am well aware of that let's say in this particular data if I want to apply the filter then it is there in this data and I need to click on filter so filter will be applied however if I'm not going to use the mouse what I'm going to do I'm going to press alt so the moment I will press alt you will get to see there are short key suggestions now I need to go to data for this the short key which is coming is A so I will have to press A now once I have pressed A for the filter it's coming T you may see that so I have applied T so the filter has been applied and again if I want to remove that then again I am pressing Alt A T the more you will use it you will get used to this and after that you will quite like remember that now the next important trick that I'm going to tell you is typing simultaneously into multiple sheets now this is not a big deal but uh, it can be used so in order to make you understand this I'm going to create two blank sheet one is sheet 5 another is sheet 6 so okay I have I'm in sheet 5 and uh, I'm pressing the control button and now I'm in sheet 6 if I'm typing anything into sheet 5 now now you will get to see that this whatever I've typed it is in sheet 6 also so sheet 5 and sheet 6 if you want to remove it from the group options this is known as group options so click anywhere in any other sheets so it will remove so you can see in the sheet 5 whatever is content is there it is there in sheet 6 also so whenever if you want to type at the same time in multiple sheets in the same region and the same thing then you can use this control button now the next important trick and the third trick for that particular matter is to how we can remove the blank row let's say I'm into this data and here you can see there are many candidates who have not mentioned their email IDs so I want to remove those blank uh, all those complete information is the complete line let's say if it is there is nothing in this particular uh, email id of avinash Pandey, so i want to remove this complete entry so in order to do that i'm going to make use of filter so go to data apply filter and then go to email id the blank option you will be able to see at the last so here you can see the blank one select for this click on ok and now you can do the selection like this right click and then simply enter uh, select delete row so now click on filter once again and you can see all the email IDs which doesn't have uh, the email IDs and those are blank that has been deleted I am going to show you another trick for this here I'm not going to use the filter so my cursor is over here and I'm going for sort option uh, sort A to Z or Z to A let's say I'm going for Z to A that is um, largest to smallest or descending order or you may go for ascending order okay so in whatever manner you will go all the blank entries are going to be in the last section you can see that now you can simply select this one right click once again and delete in order to make this data okay like before you can now go over here and you can sort this data and it's going to rearrange 
so this is the third trick which I've told you now I want to undo whatever I've done for this I can use control Z you must be aware of now time for the fourth trick in the fourth trick uh, let's say I'm into this particular data and here what I want to do I want to enter a blank line after each entry if I'm going to do it manually so I will click over here insert again I'm going to click over here and insert but one by one if I'm going to do it it's going to take lots of time so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this serial number and if you don't have any serial number then create one and then control V once again now my cursor is over here and I'm going to use this sort option ascending order so you can see it has created a blank line after each entries control Z once again okay so now time for the fifth option now the fifth option is going to be what happened many a times we try to type some text in front of numbers but we want we don't want its nature to be changed let's say here a profit is going to come by subtracting sales uh, cost sorry subtracting cost from the sales amount but I want the profit to come in rupees let's say for that matter so if I'm going to type RS let's say like rs or whatever amount i'm going to type it will be text it's not it will not be considered as number and will not be able to apply any function let's say this is the rupees and i have selected another cell so you can see by the sum is coming as four six eight four not combining these two the reason is being it is being considered as simply text so what is the solution to this so it is just a matter of formatting so in order to do that my cursor is over here i'm going to home tab and then go for this number options now go to custom and here you will get to see the option to type now first i'm typing zero that stand for number these are called input marks actually in input marks zero represent number and uh, double inverted comma and I'm going to give let's say one space and then let's say okay rupees is going to be in front of number so inverted comma first and then I'm typing rupees inverted comma close and then zero okay now let's say if I'm going to apply this particular function equal to sales minus cost you can see rupees is coming and I'm going to drag it now the beauty of this is if I'm going to do the selection of this two cell you can see the sum is coming as 81554 this is the proof of that this is being considered as number however uh, a text is there in front of it not only in terms of rupees if you want to add let's say kg or pieces or anything uh, you can do this with this simple particular trick now the next thing that we are going to understand here that how you can put a zero in front of a number uh, I guess when you are inserting a zero in front of a number you are not going to use it as a number definitely it's going to be number but you are not going to use it as a number but you need to type so let's say if I'm typing 0567 it will take 567 so the simple trick is put single quotation and type 0567 and you can see it is taking 0567 you will get to see this particular error this is being the reason this is coming because of the reason because it is confused excel right now whether it's a number or text and uh, if you will click on this particular option it will say you to convert this into number or otherwise ignore the error so I'm simply going to ignore the error however the properties of it is going to be text only fine so now another trick is to repeat the activity this is one of my favorite and uh, let's see how to use it let's say I am into this particular row and every time I need to go to one particular row 
and have to change change the fill color to let's say this one now this is the activity you have done and if you want to repeat this activity with a single click let's say i want to do the same with this particular data so i have selected this one and simply i'm going to press f4 if in your laptop there is a function key then use function key and f4 otherwise simply f4 you can press it's going to repeat what is the last thing that you have done let's say the last thing that i have done was delete now i'm into this cell let's say make sentence and if i'm going to press function key and f4 it's going to delete this however remember it is going to recall only the last activity or only one activity not more than that okay now time for the eighth trick and that trick is very simple that's a format painter here i am and uh, let's say i have applied this fill color increase the font size and i've applied one text color also now this particular uh, format i want to use over here as well so simply select the cell click on this particular option which is the format painter and then apply over whatever place you want to control z i'm doing now let's say if i want to apply it in multiple places so double click on format painter and i'm sorry select this one then double click on format painter and then select 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 wherever you want to apply this if you want to get rid of this then simply press escape button you will get rid of this now the same procedure i'm going to apply to make this particular data normal also so i have selected this particular cell which is i'm considering a normal cell and i'm using format painter and i'm going to select this particular data so you can see very useful one time for the ninth trick and this trick will be very useful when you when it is about the data uh, sorry date let's say for example um, you are managing some data where the user is typing the date in uh, UK style or uh, but because it's a US software and most of the US software it consider uh, if you are typing a date they consider month to come first let's say uh, today is um, 19th of February 2019 so I'm typing this date 19th of February 02 2019 now surprisingly it will not be considered as date even I'm going to select this particular cell and you can see it's coming as general normally when you are typing a date uh, here you will get to see a custom or otherwise you will get to see a date written it is general this means it is not being considered as date now I'm coming over here and I'm typing another date that is 9th of February once again and 2019 enter it has been considered into date and uh, because here you can see date is coming and also it is coming to the right alignment site however it is not being considered as 9th of February unfortunately it is being considered as 2nd of September because the first thing that you have written is being considered as month as a proof I am selecting this two particular two cell I am converting this into let's say long date so you can see here it is being considered a second of September okay control Z now if you have got this problem how to make things correct so in order to do that we can use text to column option so go to data and here is this text to column option click over here uh, select the delimited options simply click on next then whatever delimiters are selected in this checkbox remove all those options then go to next once again over here the destination cell is b18 you can you may keep that however i'm going to change the destination cell so that you can see the difference and here you need to select the date right now the format is mdy this means month day and year i'm going to convert this into dmy that is day month and year and then simply click on finish so you can see here it has been changed and if i'm going to change the format in order to just showcase to you so you can see it is now considering the corrected 
and for the last trick which is the custom sort option and that is very useful here I've got the data however I don't want the sort to be in a normal like A to Z in an ascending or Z to A in a descending order manner I want MCA to come first then BTEC and that's it after that in whatever manner it's need to become it will come so in order to do that you need to go to home tab and then simply click on this sort and filter option go to custom sort and here you will get to see sort by so I'm selecting this qualification and uh, sort on based on values rather than color or any other options so I've selected values only order I am going to do custom list now in the custom list you will get to see this weekday or month wise options here you will get to see another option which has been created by my students however I'm going to create a new list now so I'm going to create a list where I want MC to come first and then BTEC after that also if you have certain criteria you can mention it one by one but uh, I'm not going to mention any further and simply click on add so you can see this particular criteria has been added and then simply click on OK again click on OK and you will get to see this MC is coming first then BTEC and rest of the things is coming as per the algorithms of sorting so this is it for the video hopefully um, all those tricks going to make things easy for you in Excel if you have liked the videos kindly like it if you have got any questions kindly ask your question in the comment section kindly subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a nice day